today I want to review something for you. Now I picked this guy up a while ago and I was going to review him for you when I picked him up, but um, things kept getting in the way and uh, I actually lost him for a while and didn't know what happened to him, but today I am going to review the Beast Hunters Sky Stalker. Yay! Yay! Um, so that being said, let's get started. Let's take a look at this dude, shall we? Alright, so here we have Sky Stalker in his beast mode. Um, and he is very clearly, very obviously a dragon. All of these Predacons apparently turn into, uh, dragons, quote-unquote. Um, and, you know, this, I'm not gonna lie, this is gonna be a pretty short review. This is a pretty awesome, cool, uh, dragon. Um, there is some nice, uh, marbling nice mu white marbling in the wings here um, you can see it on the other side too maybe a little better I don't know and uh, some I don't know some some nice kind of frosting coloration going on over here he's got a nice silver Predacon logo right there um, I really dig the face on this guy I really like these horns um, he's I don't know. I just think he looks really like his his uh, his beast mode is really cool. I really like the dragon mode quite a bit. Um, it's just cool, just cool ice dragon. Looks kind of like he's probably pretty scary, pretty ruthless. Um, I dig him. Uh, the wings, the wings kind of can do this. This, they bend here. I'm not entirely sure why just more articulation I guess but the wings kind of move around a lot and I don't know about you guys but the uh, joints in my wings are kind of loose so his wings kind of like to fall like that and just kind of sit there um, so there's that uh, the joints in general are a little loose on on mine I don't know if that's a common problem but um, he does have a wide range of motion in his beast mode. He's got complete hip uh, swivel. He's got a ball here. He's got this bend here. He's got a, you know, and he's got a um, interesting, like, foot bend back here. And then his arms, it's the same thing. He's got a ball here, swivel here, bend here. Um, and then he's got his little feet right here. So you can pose him however you would like, pretty much. He's got a lot of motion. Um, his head does do a full 360 on a swivel, and his neck does move up and down. Um, so there, there is a decent, there is a decent amount of motion in this guy in, uh, in his beast mode. The transformation on this guy quite possibly is so incredibly easy and so predictable and uh, well I won't talk about it let's just let's just do it so the first so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna pull his legs down first of all ta-da legs are done was that hard didn't think so same thing pull his arms down pull his arms down now his his feet uh, his feet here, his robot hands sit in here like this, and you're just going to rotate them out, pretty much. You're just going to come over here and just rotate the hands. And then, you know, then he has robot, oh, if, if, the, if the beast feet won't pop out of their sockets like they like to do. Um, anyway, you're just gonna, you're just gonna flip, you're just gonna flip the hands out and flip the feet in if I can get this ball back in its ball joint. Um, anyway, that's the deal with that. That just, that just kind of, yeah, there's his hands, just like that. All right, so next thing you're gonna want to do, come around to the back. 
his tail just flips up. It doesn't really go anywhere. It just flips up. Same thing with the wings. The wings don't really go anywhere. They just kind of flip up. Now you're going to pull the chest down a little bit and open open his mouth. All right, you're going to open his mouth and then you're going to lift the top part of his head up and then he's got his face right in there and you're just going to bring the face down kind of push the head down a little bit and then shut the chest and uh, ladies and gentlemen oh my goodness ladies and gentlemen we have Sky Stalker in his uh, robot mode. Yep, that's that's pretty much it. Yeah, so very minimal transformation. Uh, let's bring that up there a little bit. Hey, you, get out of the video. Get out. Anyway, pets. Pets aside, uh, yeah, here we go. That's uh, that's what we get in robot mode. And I got to tell you, that's really disappointing. This is really, really disappointing. Um, there's basically no transformation really whatsoever involved with this guy. You just flip his arms and legs down and open his mouth and his head is inside. You know, it, it, it just, like, look at that. That's, that's pretty obvious. That's a dragon's face, you know, uh, I don't know, his tail just kind of sits back here like this, it's just transformation is really lazy, robot mode is super lazy, um, and it's a really big detractor for me with this guy, you know, the face is kind of interesting, I guess, I don't know, just the whole, the robot mode is just feels very, 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 very lazy, um, this is definitely a figure that uh, you'll want to display in beast mode if you do get him just because um, it just looks so much better in beast mode and it just looks so much better in beast mode I mean the robot mode isn't even worth it with this guy it just it just is so kinda disappointing and has no pizzazz, no flavor, and I'm, yes, I'm transforming this again because I can't stand looking at it in robot mode. It just bores me. Um, just very bland, boring transformation. I just, that's is really disappointing. Um, he didn't really come with any accessories of any kind either, really, to, you know, he just, this is basically what you get. All right, guys, you've seen the robot mode, you've seen the vehicle mode, and you have watched me transform it. Now, that being said, do I recommend it? I would I would tentatively say yes, if you see them, if you see them for a good price, if you collect Beast Hunters figures and all of that jazz, then yeah, pick them up. Why not? The robot mode does suck. The transformation is lazy. Hasbro really put no effort into this whatsoever. All of their effort was clearly just on the Beast mode and making him look badass. And that is his only merit is that he looks badass in beast mode and he looks badass next to all the other Predacons. That's it. If that's what you want, get him. If you want cool transformation and everything else, you're going to be disappointed. So, like I said, if you see him, he's cheap, pick him up. If you're collecting beast hunters, pick him up. Um, but I wouldn't go out of my way for this guy. I mean, I kind of want the target repaint just because I do think it looks cool, but that's me. Um, you know, I I would just say, you know, if you if you see him, you like him, pick him up. But just know what you're getting yourself into. You're you're getting something that is just good for beast mode and really nothing else. Um, you just have to decide if this beast mode is worth it to you. That being said, uh, Unicronobot and I have a lot of stuff in the works for the channel. This, since the show isn't on anymore, we're revamping some things and kind of. Um, starting some new segments and whatever else, and we've got more reviews coming out for you too, so keep your ears to the ground and keep your eyes open. And until then, all hail Megatron. Doot.